Hey everybody, uh, I just want to make a quick video in regards to this heretic uh, street preacher by a guy named Reuben Israel. Among the uh, street preaching community, this guy is very well known. I, I don't think there's anyone who's a street preacher in the USA that doesn't know him. But unfortunately, this guy is a heretic and he, uh, he preaches a uh, workspace salvation. And he, he died and went to hell on June 17, around 5 a.m. So I just want to make a quick video about it. Uh, check out the clips. And so uh, oftentimes, open-air preachers uh, believe they're prophets of God or believe that they're used of God and, and don't believe that the church is really of God. So the church is not of God, huh? Well, Jesus said in Matthew chapter 16, verse 18, when he said to Peter, And I say unto thee, Thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will, I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. So the Bible says the church came from God. And even 1 Timothy chapter 3, verse 15, it says, But if I tarry long, that thou mayest know how thou ought to behave thyself in the house of God, which is the church of the living God, the, the pillar and ground of the truth. So the house of God, which is a church, came from God. But this guy, this guy, Reuben Israel, he's so arrogant. He thinks that, hey, I'm the, we are the prophet of God. No, you're not a prophet of God. You are the Satan because you teach lordship salvation, sinners, perfect, and you're telling people they have stopped sinning to go to heaven and they're hypocrites they're telling people oh you have to be lying drunkenness fornication lust if you do this you will not go to heaven but you yourself got sins too uh, these guys are hypocrites in fact sometimes most open-air preachers may believe that the church is a bunch of pharisees and they're devils and demons and so they take no advice or counsel from anyone so when we formed Bible believers, it's to watch out for each other, to counsel each other, to give advice to each other, to uh, look out for each other, because they may not take counsel from, uh, from churches. The Bible ordained pastors, deacons, evangelists to feed the, to, to feed the church of God. But you, but you think, oh, well, we, we don't want to listen to anybody because the church is a bunch of Pharisees. I don't know what church you go to, but there are safe people in the church, especially in the Baptist church. I realize that in Catholics, Mormon, Church of Mormons, or the Jehovah's Witnesses Church, the Kingdom Hall, yeah, there, there are many Pharisees and people that are not safe. Well, but there are also people that are safe, including Baptist churches, and the Bible says that we're supposed to go to church, and, the, and, 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 and we're supposed to obey them to have to rule over you. We're just talking about a pastor in the book of Hebrew. So these guys are very prideful, they're arrogant, they, they, they just don't want to listen to anybody. Well, you're not even saved. And uh, so we are an organization in the sense that we have fellowship. Uh, it's not uh, something that uh, you need to be like-minded. We have many people in our group. We have wild-eyed Pentecostals and legalist Baptists who, when they get together, have one message, and that's repent and believe in Jesus Christ. You can read Fox's Book of Martyrs. And before these people die, they're not arguing theology. Realistically, at the end of a man's life, the only name that really we ought to concern ourselves with is Jesus Christ. So, so these guys, these guys will yoke up with uh, unsaved Pentecostal, tongue speaking, walking like a dog, laughing like a crazy person Pentecostal, and fellowship with them and yoke with them, and they call it the legal legalistic Baptists. I mean, and, and and then they say, oh, because there's one, only one message is repent and believe the gospel. The Pentecostal don't even believe on Jesus Christ. They don't believe the biblical Jesus. Some of these people are oneness Pentecostal, and they and they all believe you can lose your salvation. They're not even saved. And this this guy Reuben Israel and all these wicked street preachers, they're not saved. They don't have the Holy Spirit, and they cannot even discern spiritual things like like works based salvation, losing your salvation. And they and they and they some many of these people they believe you get baptized to go to heaven. That's another gospel. But they will yoke up with Pentecostal. Because oh the message about Jesus, well the Bible says that there will be a, a different Jesus, different gospel, and a, and a different spirit. Those guys, the, these street preachers like Reuben Israel, they have an unclean spirit. What do you mean being a bully, you little crybaby? Your church killed people like us. Your church killed people. Two guys show up with a sign and you say bully, you little half a homo, you little crybaby. You ought to look at the bloodshed of your church. 
It's almost like the Muslims. You've killed more people than you talk about. Two guys show up and you say, oh, stop being a little bully, you little crybaby. Young man, when God was handing out testicles, you were not in line, were you? You were not in line when God was handing out testicles. Yeah. These heretic street preachers, when they go out, they're not there to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. All they're doing is using the Bible, hiding behind free speech in, uh, in North America to insult people, to, to make fun of people on purpose. And then they, they will call people whores, sluts, crybaby, half a homo. Uh, they, they, they call these people that so uh, because because it, it makes them feel feel, feel good like yeah I'm so good I'm like I'm like uh, I'm like John the Baptist but the thing is if you if you really love someone you would gently tell them hey can I show you from the Bible how to go to heaven they're not interested in getting people saved they, that's why they always have a camera stuck in their face and then and, and then they, they tell people hey look 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 what we did and these people are prideful they're in the flesh and, the, and 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 this in if if you really love someone, imagine imagine me knocking on doors and I tell and I t and I, see, I tell, tell tell people, hey hey slut, hey whore, just like a whore. Oh by the way, do you know for sure go to heaven? Nobody's gonna listen to me. But these people, they don't have love. They just they just want to feed the flesh, feed their own ego. That's what they're doing. Most people can't preach like I do. Why? Because they live in sin. Wow, that, that's a humble man right there. No, most people cannot preach like I do. Yeah, you're very humble, Ruben. Do you know what that's called? That's called pride. That's also a sin. And he said, oh, because most people live in sin. We all live in sin. We, we, we all do. I mean, tell that to King David. Tell that to the Apostle Peter. Tell, tell that to, uh, you know, I'm sure even John the Baptist was a sinner too. But this guy is so prideful. Hey, more, no, most people cannot preach like I can. Yeah, you, you, you're very humble, buddy. Why? Because the log is still in their eye, which is why they can't preach against sin. I've had a person tell me, well, brother, I'm a Christian, and I can sin a little bit. I can sin a little bit, brother Reuben. Let's be fair. Fine, if you wish to sin a little bit, have it your way. But don't be surprised if on Judgment Day, God decides just to save a little bit of you. How about if God just save an eyelash and throw the rest of you into hell? Was that fair? You can't say, I'm just going to sin just a little bit. That statement itself proves that he was a heretic. So basically, if a Christian sins, a sin a little bit, then God's going to save, him, save a little bit of him only. No, that is a lie. If a person has trusted Christ as a savior, that he died for your sins, buried and rose again, as for John 3.16, that guy is saved. Even in the book of Romans chapter 5, verse, uh, verse 20, it says this, Moreover, the law entered, that the offense might abound, but where sin abounded, grace did much more abound. So even, even if a Christian sin, grace will abound, because the guy is saved. Because the Bible says in Romans chapter 4, verse 5, But to him that worketh not, but believe on him, not just fight in godly, his faith is counted for righteousness. If you believe on Christ, you're saved. But this guy, Rupert, with all his uh, so-called Bible knowledge, because he's so humble, because nobody can preach like he can, doesn't even understand the basic scripture, the basic salvation message, because the guy was unsaved. He was a heretic. He was teaching work salvation and is burning in hell. You need to put down your drugs, put down your porno, put down your drinking, and surrender to Jesus Christ. Time for you to know the God of the Bible. Time for you to be a man and be faithful to your wife. Stop your fornication. Stop your adultery. Stop your drunkenness. If you think you can uh, believe in Jesus and live in sin, you believe a lie. I, I don't think I need to uh, spend too much time on this part. I'm sure we all know that's the work salvation. Stop drinking, stop fornicating, put down the drugs, and believe on Christ. Clearly, that's a works based salvation. It's, uh, it, uh, so basically, the prerequisite to go to heaven is to do the works of the law. And the Bible says, Therefore, by the deeds of the law shall no flesh be justified in his sight. For by the law is the knowledge of sin. Uh, Romans chapter 3. 
And then he was saying, like, uh, if, if, if you believe on Christ, but still living in sin, you believe a lie. Well, no. First John chapter 2 says this. And if any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ of righteous, and he is a propitiation for our sins, and not for ours only, but also for the sins of the whole world. So, yeah, so even if we sin, Jesus Christ is our advocate, he's our lawyer. And because he has died for our sins and rose again, so we are saved forever. So clearly, maybe he doesn't even believe in once they've always saved. Because uh, I, I remember one time I read his article where he said that if a person who believes on Christ but commits suicide, he, he, he will lose his salvation. That's damnable heresy. You want forgiveness? It's going to take repentance. And uh, if you want to give your life to the Lord, uh, I demand fruits that meet for repentance. If you're a smoker, uh, I want those cigarettes gone. I've been known uh, on certain streets and certain events to dump beer out. I've been known to pat people down like police do. You've got a cigarette, there's got to be a lighter in there some way, hand it over. And so I demand fruits meet for repentance. Or don't waste my time, because I'm not going to waste God's time. And if, you, and if a cigarette or a lighter is going to be something you cling on to, you don't want God. Because He wants your whole body, your whole mind, your whole soul. And so uh, my whole message is very simple. Repent and believe. A typical um, evidence of salvation. So if somebody is still smoking and it doesn't, it's not willing to uh, give a smoking, then that guy is not saved. Well, Reuben, what about pride? If someone uh, claim to believe on Christ, but still pride, is that guy safe? Pride just like you? Nobody preach like I can. And then the, these guys are Pharisees. These street preachers are heretics, not just heretics. They're the modern day Pharisees and hypocrites. That's who they are. As a matter of fact, he, he was talking about, hey, don't waste my time. Well, well, Reuben, you wasted your time because you were preaching heresies work salvation and you meet people more the two uh, twofold more the child of hell than yourself so you wasted your life preaching heresy and you treasure up thyself wrath uh, on judgment day and hell is very hot for you right now because you spend your life teaching damnable false doctrine and being a heretic you 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 waste you, you waste your life you know uh, going to the going to the homo gay parade, and um, and, and when when these sodomites uh, spit on you, throw beer bottle on you, curse at you, you thought you had persecuted for the cause of Christ, thinking that you had lots of rewards, but you wasted your time, and and and, it, and it's very sad because I mean these people they claim to get claim to have persecuted. But but then but, but but then they spend their whole life doing it, and then they die and go to and end up in hell. Well, what a bunch of deceived Pharisees! Well, that's what happened when you pray for. That's what happened when you don't believe on Christ, and this is what happened when you think you know better than anyone else. We are sinners. We all have things to learn. But when you uh, when you just when you just uh, misplace your seal. It's good to have seal, but uh, you know, even the Bible says your seal means nothing. If you preach a wrong gospel, even Romans chapter 10 says this, For a bad on record that they have a seal of God, but not according to knowledge, for they being ignorant of God's righteousness, and going about to establish their own righteousness, have not submitted themselves to righteousness of God. But Christ is the end of law, the law for righteousness to everyone that believe it. So the righteousness of the seal should be placed on Jesus Christ, the righteousness of God, not their own self-righteousness by keeping the works of the law. So in conclusion, these street, pre street preachers and this guy, Reuben Israel, he's an unsafe heretic. Uh, many people, they, they said to him, Oh, rest in peace. Oh, Jesus now saying to you, uh, Well done, thou faithful servant. Oh, he, he, he's walking with Christ. No, he's burning in hell right now. He's burning up in hell. Uh, but probably praying to uh, Abraham. Oh, Father Abraham, just like the rich man praying to Father Abraham. Oh, Father Abraham, send us, uh, uh, send some guy to uh, to preach a real gospel to my family. Well, that, uh, too, too bad. Yeah. 
So that's all I got. So uh, so, so I, I've, I've uh, posted uh, two pictures of these uh, street banners. I mean, these, these street preachers, they love all these flashy banners. But uh, the message on the banner is all heresy. So I, I've, uh, I've posted uh, in, in this video also. Check it out. And uh, if you don't know whether you go to heaven or not, click on below link and check out the Bible way to heaven. Most people can't preach like I do.